everyone welcome to my channel so I actually just started trying to make a video a few minutes ago and for some reason the audio was completely off I have no idea what happened so we're gonna try this again come outside and um, do a little video so I'm in my front yard with my dogs. Hey Chase! <laughs> anyway guys, feeling a little self-conscious because <clears throat> my neighbors are very close. <laughs> and anyways, let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. So I'm wearing my Linus shawl today. Let's sit down over here. Let's sit down over here. Come here. Come here, Pichu. Want to say hi? Hey, Chase. Oh, this is Chase. He is an owl. Okay, that's an owl. Okay, that was... He gets a little rough sometimes. Come here, Pichu. This is Pichu, my daughter's... My daughter's puppy. <laughs> He's a Pomeranian, and I'm actually watching him right now. I've had him since uh, about since Christmas Day, actually. Yes, Pichu. Oh, yes. I don't know if I'm going to post this, guys. <laughs> this was a spur-of-the-moment decision to come out here and do this. Come here, Dino. So, <laughs> and look at Chase. Wow, what is he getting into now? Oh, my goodness. Come here, Dino. And then this is Dino. Let me get him up here so you can see him. This is Dino. He's a little Chihuahua mix. And I actually got Chase and Dino from our local SPCA. And uh, yeah, did Chase scratch my chin when he did that? He may have. He got a little rough there. Um, anyway, this is Dino. And Chase got both of them from our local SPCA. So they're both rescue doggies. Um, and then my daughter actually went off to college last year and decided she wanted to get a dog, a puppy, but she couldn't take him to college with her. <laughs> so I am watching her puppy right now, a little Pichu. I call him Pichu Monster. You're a little monster, aren't you? Anyway, guys, this is going to be a hot mess, I believe, because... As you can hear, they're doing some construction in the background. It's a little loud out here. Um, but I just wanted to say hi. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I've actually just started this channel recently. So I've been having some fun posting some shorts, setting my knitting to music, etc. Um, yes, hello again, Chase. Wow. Wow. It's going to be a little difficult to do these podcasts, um, but I actually, I've actually posted two other videos recently, and I labeled one of them podcast number one, which I may change. This may end up being podcast number one, <laughs> but as I mentioned, I'm wearing my Linus shawl. <clears throat> I'll put the, the name of the designer here on my screen because can't remember her name again. It's Annette something. Annette Cordes, I believe. But this was a scrap buster. So I've been trying to knit through my stash. And tell me if any of you have a stash so large that you don't think you'll be able to finish knitting it in your lifetime. Because that's kind of where I am right now. <laughs> So we'll see how far I can get. Um, I also write knitting patterns. So I've been designing. Wow, a bird literally just swooped in and flew right in front of me. Um, so I've been designing knitting patterns for a few years. I've got patterns on Ravelry. I'm trying to remember when I started designing. It's been quite a while. Um, okay. I don't know if this is going to work, <laughs> guys, like I said, look at this, where's Dino, he's back there too, 
We're all trying to enjoy the sunshine right now because it has been raining so much lately. And I know I'm getting a little distracted and going off on another subject right now, but um, take a look at the flowers. We've got some flowers in bloom. Alright guys, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. I'm going to stop it for a little bit and I think we will continue indoors maybe later this evening when I've got a little more quiet time and I can focus better. Alright, welcome to the chaotic mess. <laughs> we'll see if we can make this podcast work. Hang on guys. I'm going to see if I can flip the screen. I guess it doesn't let you do it, so while you're filming. So I'm going to get up, see if I can show you. Oh. <laughs> There's Chase. Oh, there he is. There's Chase. Yes. Okay. That's Chase. <laughs> and Dino is the little black chihuahua. I'm looking on my screen to see where he is. And then the other dog that you saw is my daughter's little Pomeranian puppy. And I've been watching him since Christmas. Wow, it's kind of bright out here. Okay. All right, Chase. Yes, I love you too, honey. Okay, so um, let, me, let me turn it back around. I thought I would bring you guys outside since it's such a beautiful day. Um, we've actually been having so much rain here in Santa Cruz lately that... Uh, it's just been impossible to get outside to do much but um, today it was nice and sunny and it's almost too hot to be wearing this so I may have to go inside in a few minutes or take it off <laughs> but I thought I would bring you guys out to start this day off this podcast off Oops. So I thought I would bring you guys outside and share a little bit of this beautiful day. I'm looking at a bird right now, circling around in the sky. I've got a palm tree in my yard. As you can see, the leaves have fallen. We had some really high winds the other day and it really, it knocked the leaves down. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get those removed because that would be kind of dangerous if they fell on me or one of the dogs in the front yard. But anyway, guys, hold on. There's Pishu, Pishu, Pishu. I think he's looking at a, is that a bee? Let's, oh, oh. <laughs> I think there was a bee buzzing around that flower. But without further ado, let's go back inside and I will show you guys what I'm working on. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> and what I'm doing is kind of chasing my light because I only have a certain amount of time, like, between three and four in the afternoon that I have good lighting in the house. So I've brought my tripod upstairs and we're gonna try this at the top of my stairs. Um, so what I was wearing outside was the Linus shawl and it was by Annette Cordes. I don't, I hope I'm saying her name right, but yeah, I just thought it would give you guys a better look at that when I came in. So this is the shawl and I basically used a bunch of my scrap yarn and just knit it all together. So it is a very cool asymmetrical shawl. And I did a little bit of um, a different, oh calm down, of course my dogs are going to start making noise. So I'm just keeping it real, guys. But uh, I did a little bit of a different stitch here. I added these little eyelets just to give it a little different look. Um, add a little flair to it instead of just having all garter stitch. But 
I really love the look of garter stitch. What do you guys think? I mean, garter stitch is so basic, but it's just so, I mean, it just looks so nice and it's so squishy and comfortable. But um, let's see, what else? So I had that and then I do have a whip that I did crochet recently. Um, and that is this triangular granny share, granny share, granny square, <laughs> this granny square shawl. And I did this in just a couple of evenings watching YouTube tutorials on how to do it because I don't crochet that often, but it was another stash buster. So I'm trying to work through my stash this year. And yeah, so this one, I just, I actually wore it to work the other day and I just put it on like this and yeah, you can wear it, you can wear it like this or what I did was I pulled the ends together underneath and I pinned them together so that it would keep it on and not fall off while I was working, but um but yeah, another very good idea for a stash buster. And um, I can't remember the YouTube channel that I was watching now, but if I think of it, I will put it down in the description. I'll put a link to their channel and the video where I learned how to do this. Because, I mean, crochet is really coming back in style again, isn't it? We've had so many people coming into the yarn shop wanting to learn how to crochet lately and, and you know, people that crochet, it's just, it's pretty cool. The other day I was at Target. Chase, please, okay? That's enough. Shh, shh, shh. You know what? You're going to have to wait. Hold on, guys. I'm going to hide his ball because he's not going to stop fussing until the ball is out of sight. <clears throat> You're going to have to wait, Chase. I may have to edit this part of the video if you keep making noise. <laughs> it's right here. Go get your ball. Okay, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> he likes it when I throw the ball up and down the stairs and he chases it. And it's just, ah, that's just his thing. But anyway, now I've lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so we've had lots of people coming into the yarn shop that wanted to learn how to crochet. And, oh yeah, now I remembered what I was actually going to say was I was in Target the other day and I noticed that they have crochet um, blouses, sweaters, vests, things like that, that were made like out of a big granny square. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Why? That's back in style. So I thought, you know, I could knit, uh, knit. I could crochet one of those. <laughs> And I've also got to get used to looking at the camera lens right there because I keep looking at myself and when I look at myself it looks like I'm looking off to the side. So hopefully I'll remember to keep looking at you guys and not myself. <laughs> um, let's see, what else was I going to show you? I showed you my granny square shawl and I've showed you the Linus shawl. Now a huge work in progress. The next two are actually works in progress that I've been working on literally for years. Okay, so that's another reason for doing this YouTube channel is hopefully you guys can keep me accountable and um, I can get this done. There's one other project I'm going to show you in just a second that has been in this bag for years. Okay. So we'll get to that. <clears throat> um, so how many of you have done this? There I am looking at myself again. How many of you have done a mitered square blanket? I started this several years ago. I mean, it's been probably seven years or longer that I started this. But I'm determined to keep at it. And let me give you a little glimpse at some of the work that I've done. Chase, you need to chill. My dog is right here at my feet begging to play. 
<laughs> I'm gonna guess go on across here. Didn't it sound like he said Momba? <laughs> Look, I have one that even looks kind of like an American flag. I think I did that one. I think I did this one on the 4th of July one year. <laughs> So, so yeah, this is about as wide as a queen size bed. And I was hoping to actually make it into a blanket, but with as long as it's taking me to get it done, I was thinking possibly about turning it into a shawl. What do you guys think? I mean, I would have to alter some of the shaping and maybe do some half triangles across the top edge to make it straight. But, and then I could kind of go into a point at the bottom. I don't know. I was, I mean, what do you guys think? Should I keep going and try to get an actual blanket done? Or do you think I should turn it into a shawl? Possibly a shawl or even um, a shrug. You know, I could... It's The wingspan is long enough that I could actually... I think I could actually turn it into a shrug. If I did a little wider and then I could um, join the ends together to make a sleeve. It's just an idea. So shrug, shawl, or blanket, what would you guys do? Let me know. Because <laughs> if it's going to be a blanket, I don't know how many more years it's going to take me to get it done. Um, speaking of taking years to get something done, guys, this is a pair of socks. Okay. These socks have been languishing on the needles. Let's see if I can even unzip the bag or if it's so rusted shut from being in here for so long. <laughs> this was a pair of socks that I started long ago using Sensations Bamboo and You yarn, super fine wool bamboo blend um, from a big box store. I don't know if that's focusing on me or the yarn but anyway who else has ever gotten second sock syndrome let me know because i actually did one sock look at that i have made a sock in all my life in all my years of knitting i've made one sock and then I started the second one. Let me go ahead and get it out. It's still attached to the bag because I was going through the hole. But um, hang on, let me kick the ball for the dog again. <laughs> anyway, I got the cuff done. And I stopped. I don't know why I stopped. I mean, there's no good reason for why I never completed this pair of socks. And I was using a pattern from a book, and I cannot remember which pattern I was using. So, I don't know what type of heel I was going to do. Um, it looks like I've already separated, or not separated, but I've already got a stitch marker right here for where I was going to start the heel gusset. Is that what they're called? Just goes to show I have not, this will be my first pair of socks I've ever made, and I've been knitting for about 17 years, guys. Shame on me. Shame on me for never doing a pair of socks. I want to get this pair of socks done ASAP so I can at least say that I've knit a pair of socks. And who knows, maybe I'll knit more. But I need to figure out which heel I did. 
let me show you guys what the heel looks like on this one. Uh, so it looks like it's really hard to tell with this this color scheme going on, but it looks like almost like garter stitches right here. And hmm. Yeah, this part was all straight, and then when it gets to the heel, it's got this, like, garter stitch row here, and I don't know. I, and then right here, it looks like there were some decreases, like, in the actual heel. Let's take a look for it to do that, for that turn there. I guess that's why they call it turning the heel, right? <laughs> But, can you see that? Anyway, I'm going to have to look through my books. I've got a whole library of knitting books. Maybe I could share those with you sometime, too. Who wants to see uh, a stash tour and a knitting book library tour? Maybe I could do that as well. But, um, yeah, and the toe is also interesting. See the stitches on the toe there? It's very interesting. So I, like I said, I'm going to have to go through my knitting books. I probably have a couple books that are just socks and see if from the photos if I can match and see which sock this was, which pattern it was so that I can get the second one done. I guess it really doesn't matter though. I mean, nobody would really see the heel, so I could probably do any heel and nobody would know the difference because only I would, you know. Knitters are always so hard on themselves when other people that see your work probably wouldn't know the difference, right? I was also gonna mention when I was showing this and I completely forgot, um, my mitered squares. Look at this, guys. This is... <laughs> it used to have cheese balls in it, but now it is full of mini skeins. And this is what I'm using. These are ones that I have so far that I still need to add to my blanket. So many, many skeins. I did a trade on Facebook a few years ago where we all bought a skein of yarn and then we split the skein into uh, 20 mini skeins. We all had to do that. We all, you know, measured off five ounce mini skeins out of a single ball of yarn and then we sent our mini skeins in to the coordinator and she split them all up so that each of us would get 20 different mini skeins back. So that was really cool. And I actually did that a few times, as you can tell. <laughs> so, yeah. I do have enough mini skeins to continue working on it for a little while. So I could make it pretty big, I guess. Well, I don't know. How far would that go? This is, I mean, this is full. This is full. We have, um, this is, says Space Cadet. Um, we've got Oopsie Daisy Penguin Soup. I have no idea. These may be indie yarn dyers that are no longer around. Have you guys heard of Oopsie Daisy or Penguin Soup? I don't know which one was the name of the yarn or which one was the name of the dyer. Um, let's see. What else? This one, so I've already used this one, but it was Union, no, Union. <laughs> I can't read. This was Unicorn Freckles by Gnome Acres, I believe. Um, but yeah. <sighs> I could go through all of these, but I'm not going to not going to take the time to do it right now, but um, let's see, what is this one? Knitting Den, Never Enough Time, and time spelled like the herb. Um, but yeah, so 
lots of yarny goodness in here. Uh, <clears throat> so I've got a lot of knitting that I could be doing. I've actually got a new design on the needles too, but I can't share that right now because um, it'll be a few months before it's released. But when it does become available, I will share that with you guys. It's actually for another company. So um, they're going to offer it as a free pattern for signing up for their mailing list. So once they do that, I will... I will probably vlog about that as well or add it to the podcast so that you guys can go sign up for their mailing list if you want and get my free pattern. Um, and I think it's going to be a free pattern through them for about three months or so. And then they're going to give me the rights back so I can do whatever I want with it. And then I'll probably re-release it again on Ravelry. But... um Anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and let you go because I've blabbed enough. I don't know how long the intro was outside, but it was just such a beautiful day. I'm looking up at my skylight right now, and I see the little shadows flickering on the wall. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the sun's going to be going down soon, so I need to wrap this up. But I'm going to get this all edited the beginning of the video was kind of weird because it was my second attempt at getting the intro done and for some reason while I was recording my camera split the audio from the video and it wasn't lined up and so I had to use, I'm going to have to use an editor to extract the audio and that's going to be a little challenge but I'm going to see if I can line up the audio with my voice with my video um, and hopefully it's not doing it again while I'm recording this because that would be a nightmare but anyway guys thank you so much for joining for watching and I hope you will be back um, if you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and I'm hoping to have an ongoing podcast vlog style video where we go out and do things um, as like how I posted a video the other day while I was at the yarn shop. I did a little tutorial while I was at the beach a couple months ago. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll go hiking and I'll take my yarn with me and maybe we can just do a little whip and chat while I'm knitting in the redwoods or something. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Until next time, happy knitting. Bye!